How to calculate win probability in crickets. If you're a cricket fan wondering how teams predict their chances of winning a match, you're in the right place. Let's break down the process step by step. Calculating win probability in cricket involves using advanced statistical models that take into account various factors of the game. One of the key tools used is the win probability model. Imagine you're watching a T20 match and you want to know how likely it is for the batting team to win with five wickets in hand and 30 balls remaining. Traditional statistics like batting averages and strike rates aren't very helpful here because they don't consider the specific match situation. To solve this, analysts use a technique called LOWIS, locally estimated scatterplot smoothing. This method smooths out noisy data by considering nearby data points to make a more accurate estimate. For instance, if there aren't many historical matches with the exact same situation, LOWIS helps fill in the gaps by looking at similar scenarios. The winning and score predictor, WASP, is another powerful tool used in cricket. WASP predicts scores and the likelihood of a team winning based on factors like the pitch, weather, and boundary size. It uses data from past matches to estimate the probability of runs and wickets in each game situation. This model works backwards from the end of the innings to calculate the total runs or the probability of winning at any point in the game. Here's how it works. For the team batting first, Wasp predicts the final total based on the number of balls and wickets remaining. For the team batting second, it estimates the probability of winning based on the balls and wickets remaining, the runs scored so far, and the target score. The model uses dynamic programming to calculate these probabilities, ensuring that the estimates are robust even in rare game situations. In practical terms, if a team is chasing a target, the model will consider how many runs they need to score, how many wickets they have left, and how many balls are remaining. It then calculates the probability of them achieving this target based on historical data and the current game conditions. For example, if a team needs 80 runs from 10 overs with 7 wickets in hand, the model will look at past matches where teams were in similar situations and calculate the average success rate. This gives a clear picture of the team's win probability at that moment in the game. So, the next time you're watching a cricket match and see the win probability percentage flashing on the screen, remember that it's not just a guess. It's based on sophisticated statistical models and a lot of historical data.